Hello there. Just a quick video of this air domination match I had this evening. And yes, I know, I'm a kind of copycat. But I don't care as I'm the hottest potato in the sack. So here we go. I just skipped the boring side climb part as it is not very entertaining. Now, above the sea of red, let's see if we can pack a very first kill. Yes, some very juicy targets there. Let's go for that yak and see what it does. That lightning also wants a bite from my butt, but he is not able to catch me. Look at that, target fixation at its finest. Well let's put some holes in your plane. There you go, customer served. Now the enemy is somewhere above our spawn, and tries to rape the heck out of our team. Time for a plot twist, maybe. But first, let me get into position for another dive. That P400 wants a head on, so he gets it, but keep in mind that this bugger has some 20 mils. Better pull out soon and reposition. Now he's in a more comfortable position for me to pacify him. You got a hole in your left wing. This guy's next. And voila, he seems to lose his head there. F in hell, what shitty aim. That tiffy looks interesting. Maybe this one goes better. How unfortunate. I bet that was the central gear leg. Now let's see if someone wants to climb up to me. That P-39 can climb well, but he's still too far out. Another lag, just great. He must have lost his head as well. Now, there you are again, P39, in just the right position. Low on energy after that steep climb. Enjoy your barbecue.
Aha, a resb. Now that could be interesting. Come on, turn into me as USB pilots usually do. Whatever you were doing, it must have been distracting as hell. I don't really wanna think about it, but something like wanking while spawning AFK comes in mind. Or else, I'm open for suggestions. Now let's have another camera wobble and look for new targets. I don't know what went into them, flying so low. Maybe they got hit by a huge ball of fur. I don't give a shit, but that Spitfire should have paid more attention. Another customer served. Now let's skip another boring side climb part, where I also write some suggestions to my team into the chat, being ignored anyways. Okay, so here I'm back on altitude, let's see who comes next. That hurricane may be, but I want to scare off new spawns. So the P-36 will be it. He's pulling ahead on, but my aim is so bad, that I don't even clip his plane. What a shame. So whilst this enjoyable camera wobbled I climb back up, and see how the situation unfolds. He's not coming for me, as he wants the fur ball too much. So it will be that hurricane from before. But again I fly so badly, that a whole burst just whizzes past his plane, and into the ground below. So I do a spiral climb of shame and present myself to that spitfire. Not exactly sure about his energy state, but I expect it to be rather low. Or maybe not. Now let's get Balsy and Hammerhead down on him. Maybe time is on my side. As he can't lift his nose further up I put a whole burst into his plane. That was satisfying. The enemy bomber still turned fight below, giving my team a rather hard time. That R2 presence its belly to me but I can't get the shot right. So I dive further down on that beautiful BF-110. Freaking hell. Another central gilleg critted. Time to extend and gain some altitude back, as that for Wolf and that freshly spawned BF want to crash my party. Sometimes problems solve themselves by ignoring them. SCP. Okay, they have lost interest, so I can turn back and gain even more altitude. That hurricane seems to be the most isolated enemy, so I decide to dive down on him next. Ripped his crack open, and made him squeeze out that wing. While using my position to get some attention from the enemy, I climb straight up and try to bait the Fucky Wolf and the BF-1-10 without its central gilleg up to me.
Now the fucky wolf does the smart thing here, but seemingly losing a leg makes one lose his mind as well. There you go, almost crashing into my team member. Spiral climb up and almost end up in front of those pesky guns. Not with me. That Spitfire decides to prop hang in front of me. Thank you very much. But now I'm in trouble. Luckily, I still have enough speed to extend away, but this time they shoot holes in my plane and make my fuel tank leak. Again the Fuki Wolf follows me, alongside with that I-16. As he is closer to me, I have to style him out first. So let's spiral climb and then hammer head down on him. That was literally on the last millisecond. Again the Fuki Wolf did the smart thing. That bugger. Another juicy bomber target. I can't recall what happened here, but he must have died by something else. I cut the throttle to preserve some fuel, but my tank is more like a visitor of Oktoberfest now, that had too much beer. Luckily everyone is below me, and low on energy. So time for another hammerhead. This time the Faki Wolf has to go, but he's changing seats with the hurricane. Effin bugger. So back up again. Finally he's making the mistake I've been waiting for the whole match. Both guys think they can climb up to me, but lose their very rest of energy. Now it's buffet lunch time. As a starter, I go for the spicy meatballs. Followed by some country potatoes with sour cream. And for dessert, I'd like the muffins with peanut butter. Thank you. And don't forget the plum pudding. But, what do you know, you can't have it all. I preserve the last drop of fuel for my last dive. Now it's all or nothing. Well shit, nothing I guess. And there goes my fuel. In an rather desperate act, and being out of options now, I go for the head on. But my aim is so bad again, that I don't even hit a thing. My battered plane takes another hit, this time into the tail control. And now all Mr. Plum Pudding needs to do is to advance from behind on me, this time making me lose my head. Moral of the story, bring at least 30 minutes of fuel instead of 20 minutes to an air domination game. With that extra 10 minutes I could have turned the tables aka make the plot twist. So maybe next time.
And just one more thing, if you think that I simply stole it all, you can put your thumb inside your butt and hit the dislike button with your ballsack. Or else, go fuck a tree. Kudos, and see you next time.